In this video we are going to talk about the tangent to the graph of a function. Okay, um, and let's start the discussion with, um, uh, you know, the following question. What do you think a kid uh, will answer if you ask them what's the tangent, um, let's say, to a circle? Okay, uh, they'll probably say, well, you take a point on a circle and the tangent is that one line that intersects the circle at one point. All right, um, okay, that's okay, uh, up to a certain point. Uh, but, you know, in this video, like I said, we were going to talk about tangent to the graph of a function. Well, a circle is not a function, right, because it's not the graph of a function because the vertical test fails. Okay, let's change that a little bit so that the vertical test doesn't fail. So, um, let's say this is we let's restrict our circle to the upper half of it so now the upper half of it is the graph of a function well if we now look at the uh, the same definition uh, of a tangent which is a line that intersects the the circle or let's say this half a circle at one point well it, we don't get only this line but we have actually infinitely many lines all right, and uh, okay, somebody can say, oh yeah, but we get those infinite lines just because we cut the circle in half, kind of. So maybe if we are to extend um, this upper half of the circle towards minus infinity and towards plus infinity, somehow these other lines uh, will intersect uh, the new graph in more than one point. Uh, that may happen or may not happen, but okay, let's... Uh, move away from this a little bit to a function that actually goes uh, from minus infinity to plus infinity uh, whose graph actually we know okay and let's say this is uh, a looking up parabola okay uh, what we know about the parabola uh, for sure is the vertex uh, for this particular parabola we know the two x intercepts x1 and x2 and maybe the y intercept all right um, now again, if we look for lines that intersect this graph um, in, in only one point, let's look at the vertex as being that one point. Okay, one nice candidate will be this particular line, okay, <clears throat> which intersects the graph in one point. But we also have this line here that intersects the graph at only one point. So what do we do? Clearly, this is the better candidate, at least from the intuitive perspective, but that definition um, that the kid would give to a tangent um, fails, clearly. Okay? These are two lines, they both intersect this parabola at one point. Okay? Um, so, all right, so, so clearly we have to look for something better. Okay? And just for the eager student, maybe, what would the the, what would the tangent be to a line? What's the tangent to a line? Okay, take a minute, think about it, see if you can come up with, uh, with a nice intuitive um, sort of definition for, uh, for the tangent to a line. All right, in the meantime, let's look at, let's say, some more generic uh, type function. Let's say this is the graph of a function y equals f of x. All right, and let's take a point here, A, on the x-axis, uh, and we get uh, the point F of A on the y-axis, so that the two determine A point on the graph of this function. Okay, let's take another point here, let's call it A plus H. And let's do the exact same thing. Okay, uh, let's say this point here on the y-axis is F of A plus H. All right, so now we've got two points both on the graph of this function. All right, um, well, uh, we know that, uh, okay, so let's write them down. So one is A and F of A. The other one is A plus H, A plus H, and F of A plus H. All right. So, so now we've got these two points. Well, okay, we can always draw the line that goes through the two points. All right, let's call this line L1. 
all right? Uh, and we can say, well, if we've got two points on the graph of a function, um, we are going to call this line that connects the two points a secant. All right, so this is a secant. Okay, fine, no problem with that. Okay, uh, now let's see what happens, what the equation of this secant will be. Um, so this line L1, because it goes through these two points, we figure out that the equation of it is y minus f of a over x minus a is equal to f of a plus h, right? We look at this other point of the line, minus f of a over a plus h minus a, all right? So these two a's cancel each other. All right, so this is the equation of a secant line, okay? What if we actually move this point a little bit down here, all right? And so we get another point on uh, the graph of the function, okay? So now, given this new point, we can construct another secant. All right, let's call this secant L2, all right? Now, um, for example, if we write the equation of this uh, other secant L2, what will change? Well, this L2 will still go through the point A and F of A, so this part of the equation won't change. Okay? What will change is actually this part. All right? Because this line L2 will not go through the points of coordinates a plus h and f of a plus h will go through a slightly different point. Okay? But it's good that at least this won't change and this will change. So clearly, we need to look at this quantity f of a plus h minus f of a over h. All right? Uh, in the hope that, that here's what could happen. If we have a nicely behaved function, okay, we've got this secants that uh, uh, sort of try to approximate um, what would the tangent be, okay? So basically, as we approach this point, if we make it closer and closer to our point, hopefully, this secants, this red secants here, will get closer and closer to a line, and this should be our tangent line. All right, so, so basically, as the points A and A plus H on the x axis will go closer and closer to each other, ideally, you know, this quantity will approach a certain value, okay? So, okay, in, in, in calculus, we kind of, we can denote this idea that the quantity approaches a certain value by saying the limit when h approaches zero of this is what we want to be the slope of the tangent line at the point a and f of a. All right? So, clearly, we figured out that a very important quantity to look at if we want to talk about um, the tangent to the graph of a function is this quantity, and not for some random h that's actually very close by to our point, but we actually want to look at the limit when h approaches zero of f of a plus h minus f of a over h, and that will be the slope of the tangent line to our curve at the point a and f of a.